You say that, that you believe many people in America agree in, uh, believe in your definition of freedom, freedom from coercion. And I might agree with you, but I also believe that many people in America free, believe in a different kind of freedom, and that is freedom to well-being, a certain level of standards, fair housing, at a good price, education, etc. Um, the other thing I want to say is, is that the system has built into it uh, uh, the poor remain poor and the rich remain rich, and that is an externality of the system. It is not but, built into the system at all. It has never been true. It's simply a false. If you look at the evidence, there is an enormous amount of mobility from one class to the other. In fact, there used to be a saying, three generations from shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves, which reflected exactly the opposite effect. I no, it simply is not built into the system. On the contrary, there's a great deal of mobility within generations and between generations, and we shouldn't argue on the basis of false factual premises. That mobility, uh, well, l let me continue because I'm not sure it really has an effect on the question. Um, be because because it, it, is not, it is not immediately easy to become in the wealthy class, there are certain parts of the system which make that virtually impossible for, for the real person. Um, now, I also, I believe that this freedom, too, represents, rep represents the, the belief in equality uh, as, as opposed to, to liberty. And uh, I wonder, is it possible to build a system um, based on this equality, which I believe that many people agree in and would not be willing to, uh, to sacrifice to the liberty of freedom from? Well, let me, I'm not going to be able to give a full answer to your question because you've asked a very, very complex question, and so you're going to have to pardon me if, I'm a, if I am a little dogmatic, but I only want to suggest that the statements I'm making are not without some thought and reason behind them. In my opinion, a society that aims for equality before liberty will end up with neither equality nor liberty. And a society that aims first for liberty will not end up with equality, but it will end up with a closer approach to equality than any other kind of system that has ever been developed. Now, that conclusion is based both on evidence from history, across history, and also, I believe, on reasoning which, if you try to follow through the implications of aiming first at equality, will become clear to you. You can only aim at equality by giving some people the right to take things from others. And what ultimately happens when you aim at equality is that A and B decide what C shall do for D. <laughs> Except that they take a little bit of a commission off on the way.